Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Kimberly Moss. Well, she's a mother of three who was once 60 pounds overweight and turned her life around and became a fitness model at the age of 45. Toscarina was a fitness expert and the author of The Eat Clean Diet. Thank you so much for joining us. It's so great to have you here. Thank you. It's nice to be here, Kim. Thanks. Take us back, if you will, before we get into the Eat Clean Diet, mm -hmm. to where you used to be, 204 pounds? At my heaviest, yeah. And that was in, in my uh, university days, actually. It wasn't even when I was pregnant. Um, and then it's just been sort of a battle up and down of weight loss, weight, weight gain. In, in some cases, I was actually almost too skinny. There's wow. a time when I weighed 125 pounds. Wow. Yeah, so so I had the whole range going on. <laughs> so at your heavy, so 204 pounds, that yeah. was at the age of 40? Uh, no, it was in my 20s when I was that heavy. Uh, in my 40s, I was around around 165, 170 pounds. But still uncomfortable, you didn't feel good about no. yourself, you didn't feel right. healthy. What was a turning point for you where you decided, I've got to do something about this? Yeah, we always need to get right in the gutter before we things do. change. Yeah. Um, you know what did it was, it, photographs don't lie, and I was looking at a picture of myself with my three daughters, mm -hmm. and we had been on summer vacation, and I was in a bathing suit, and the girls were in their swimsuits, and they looked amazing, and I just looked like, I, I looked at the picture and I thought, where did I go? Because mm -hmm. this is not me. And that was, that was the moment for me. And I decided I had to do something about that. And there was a responsibility to my children. I owed them something more. And that's what did it. There, yeah. there are so many diets out there that yeah. so many people try. Yes. Where did you decide that eating clean, and please explain to people what eating clean means, okay. but how did you know that this is what was going to work for you, what you wanted to do? How did okay. you choose this? Well, well, I didn't. It sort of chose me, mm -hmm. <laughs> to be honest, because I didn't know how to eat, and I think many of us can identify with that situation. Sure. You know, we, we're, we're thrown into the world of mothering and parenting and pairing, parenting and so on, but we don't know how to feed ourselves. Right. We don't know how to feed our kids either. I was just blithely going along with life eating whatever. And uh, when I, I, I had hypoglycemia, I was overweight, I was out of shape, I couldn't walk up the stairs at my own house, I was always tired. When I started to change my life around and make better eating decisions, um, it was when I was issued a challenge to compete in a bodybuilding contest at the age of 42. Wow. Yeah. And, you know, I, I, someone offered me that opportunity, and I thought, you know, there's a lot of things in my life I can control, I can't control that, so right. I'll do whatever it takes to get ready for this show. It takes a lot of discipline. Yes, it does. And I think you know a little bit about that. I do. <laughs> yeah. So um, it was the eating clean that I had to do to get ready for the contest. So mm -hmm. I took nine months to just transform my body and my eating habits as a result. Now, that's extreme. You know, mm -hmm. going competing on stage, sure. you're getting ripped. Your skin is about that thin over your muscles. Right. That is not what the rest of the world wants to look and right. eat like. But it worked so well that I thought, what if I just softened the approach mm -hmm and made it mainstream. Because even when I came off contest eating, I was able to maintain a good healthy weight. And I wasn't going hungry. And that was the beauty of it, was it's it's more of a lifestyle. I hate to call it eat clean diet, but, sure. it's, but it's a lifestyle. It is. And so what it is, is you're eating six smaller meals a day. Mm -hmm. You're eating every three hours. You never skip a meal because what you want to do is you want to supercharge that metabolism. Sure. So nudging it with injections of fuel, healthy fuel, that's what gets the metabolism burning, and that's our body's only secret weight loss pill is our metabolism. So what are you eating? You're eating lean protein and complex carbs. And I like to say from the most natural sources possible, um, unrefined, close to the earth, seasonal, local if you can, organic if you can, but whatever it is, you recognize an orange for an orange. Whatever comes out of a package in a box and you can't read the labels, mm -hmm. forget it. Mm -hmm. So we, we eat very naturally, and then I say stay away from sugar as much as possible. I think that's done more for my skin than almost anything else, because I think at 40 I looked older than I do now, and I'm nearly 50. I know, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> so I am going to be 50 in a few months, but it, sugar. Sugar causes inflammation, yeah. it causes the collagen and the elastin in our skin to, to get all gluey, and then our skin looks sallow and gray. But this has all just turned my whole life around. Well, the great thing is you can do this for your family. You can do it for your kids. And coming up later in the show, Tosca is going to join us again. And we're going to talk about how to get your kids to eat clean, how you can do it too. And some celebrities are doing this. They've hopped on the Eat Clean diet. So don't go anywhere. Tosca, thank you. We'll be back in just a little bit with more from Tosca. Better, the daily television show that focuses on the latest styles, trends, relationships, beauty, fitness, and other stories that will help make your day better. Check local TV listings to see if better airs in your city.
Well, you've made a vow to shape up your diet to feel better and lose some weight. Well, you can make the same pledge for your kids, too. It's easier than you might think. We're back with fitness expert and author of The Eat Clean Diet, Tosca Reno, and your wonderful book, The Eat Clean Diet for Family and Kids. So see, this is easy to do at home. You can make changes as simply as today. Toss out the sugar, toss out the salt, get your kids involved in the kitchen. That's one of the great things I think about making this message come across to them. Don't hit them over the head with a hammer. Right. Don't hit them over the head with a broccoli. They're not going to go for it. Take them to the grocery store. Get them to pick out things for themselves. Bring it home and get them involved in the food prep process. Because you know what? Today, kids don't know how to cook. Right. It's scary. So do you take us through the steps of how to shop with your kids? Because, you know, kids are automatically going to go for the sweets and all the things that they probably shouldn't have. That's right. So do you help them go through the produce section and learn how to pick out things and make it fun for them? Well, you know, the produce section, it's not hard to go wrong there. It's right. when you get over into the cereal aisle. That's right, the trouble, right? right? And so... If you're, if you're really trying to undo some bad habits, mm -hmm. I like to say, you know, limit what you're going to take home as far as the junk goes. Okay. Or encourage them uh, to look at the labels and say, can you pronounce any of this stuff? Because I can't. Right. This can't be good for us. And then compare what's in a package of oatmeal or, you know, oat bran or something like that. And you can spice up the flavor of oatmeal for kids. Cinnamon, vanilla, unsweetened applesauce, berries, all that good stuff. You don't have to have sugar on top of it. You know what? They go for it. Kids have a very smart palate. Mm -hmm. And eventually when you clean out all that sugar addiction and all that junk addiction, they really go reaching for that good stuff because they're good for them. Tell us about some of the recipes that are in here because as you, on the cover, you, you've got kids here who are, are making some of the things. So this is easy That's for right. them too. And, and as That's you right. said, the key is getting them involved, right? Listen, I am not a chef. I am a cook. Right. So this for me has to be easy. And for kids, it's got to be dead easy too because listen, we, they have to get out the door at the age of 18 and right. cook for themselves. So if they can press a button and if they can, um, you know, turn a switch and assemble a few things, they can cook. So one of my favorite things to do is set up a wrap station, W-R-A-P, not mm -hmm. the, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and um, have a series of uh, wraps available, whole grain wraps, whatever they like, Ezekiel brown rice. There's all kinds of wonderful stuff these days. Get some hummus. You can make it. It's so easy. If you have a food processor, take the lid off a can of garbanzo beans or chickpeas, squish a lemon juice, tahini, some garlic, a little bit of olive oil. The kids can press the button. You've got what I call the other bread spread. I love hummus. It's great for them. It's fiber. It's delicious. Spread that on your wrap. Um, have some chopped, uh, you know, cucumbers, tomatoes, carrots, sprouts, whatever. And get the kids in there making their own little wraps to take to school. Here's another dead easy one. A brown rice wrap. Um, a little spread of hummus or natural nut butter. I love uh, just made from almonds or cashews. Yeah. There's no commercial sugars or anything right. in it. Peel a banana, stick it in the middle, sprinkle some flaxseed over it, oh, roll it up. Yummy. Simple. So well, simple. It's so healthy, and the bottom line is it's clean. It doesn't, it's not processed, no. doesn't have any of the junk in it, and your kids are going to feel better, and we know that childhood obesity is a big problem. One thing I want to point out, if you think this is going to be a challenge for you, I've got to tell you, Angelina Jolie is doing this That's now. Right. That's right. She has a big family, you Six know. kids. Halle Berry, Halle Nicole Berry. Kidman. Yep. Yep. So the celebrities are doing this, and really this is such an amazing thing as far as what it's going to do for your body. I've had a lot of parents write to me and say, Tosca, since my children have gone off sugar, they not only sleep through the night, they don't have night terror. They're not cranky. They're not irritable. They focus in school. I'm not getting calls from the teacher saying, you know, your, your child is out of control. These kids are new people. Yeah. They're really responding to that high quality nutrition. That is really so good for them. It is uh, it's such a pleasure to have you here. Tosca has a series of Eat Clean Diet books. You can pick them up at your bookstore.